Anders opted to go with a more efficient 2650 supercharger in this application. Like Austin ZL1, we opted to go with the Rotofat Big Gulp Intake, KTEC 103 millimeter throttle body, upper lower pulley, as well as headers and full exhaust. Anders ZL1 features a very similar fuel system setup to Austin's ZL1. It does have a DSX auxiliary low side as well as a factory LT4 high side. The major difference between this build and Austin's build, aside from the Magnuson 2650, is the too high PSI reflex port injection system. So now that we've talked about the modifications done to Anders' car, let's move on to the numbers. We're gonna put up a graph that's gonna show you exactly what we made on this car, full bolt-ons, 93, as well as E70. We were able to net about 19 pounds of boost on this setup. Again, great horsepower and torque numbers. Final numbers on 93 were 711 rear wheel horsepower, 736 foot-pounds of torque. Then we switched up to E70, and we were able to make 819 rear wheel horsepower and 792 foot-pounds of torque. Very, very